Wow. <laughs> Hello. It has been a little while since I have sat in front of the camera. Hello. I'm Katie. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Long story short, in January I had some health problems that I won't get into because it is a little personal and I'm not really comfortable sharing with the internet. I'm sorry, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> yeah, the past month really took a toll on me physically as well as mentally and I just wasn't capable of doing like anything at all. And I am okay now, I am feeling 100% myself again and I'm ready to get back into a routine. I'm ready to keep filming, I'm ready to make art again. I'm feeling great, I'm feeling a lot better. We have a whole pile of stuff behind me that I need to catch up on. So let's go through that now. I have a lot of new things to show you. I have a lot of new things to like tell you. Um, yeah, this studio vlog is just going to be me getting back into a routine. I've been working on my illustration portfolio. I've been working on a new shop update, trying to do more in-person pop-up events and social media and YouTube on top of all that. So it has been hard to like break out a camera sometimes because I just honestly forget or I'm just like, I'm on a time crunch. I gotta finish this thing. Don't have time to bring you along, but I am doing that today. I'm bringing you guys along. <laughs> Cause there's lots of fun stuff going on. We got a whole lot of Valentine stuff for Valentine's Day. This is all Patreon related stuff. Let's see, what do we have here? What do we have here? Uh, my brother picked up the Patreon print and a bookmark for me. They're really cute. I love these two little bunnies. And then, Today, the sticker came in the mail, so they look really cute too. They're nice and big, which I like. I think I did three inches this time, a three inch sticker. So that's really cute. Oh, so on my digital download tier, I made these little printable Valentine's mini cards. And then I just went and got these printed for myself so I could put them in secret shop orders and then also put them in some of the happy mail for February. And I really like how they turned out. I think they're really cute. So if you wanna go and print and cut these out yourself at home, they're available on my digital download tier. What else happened? Oh, I had a secret shop update. You guys saw like these stickers already. I did get these new backing cards printed. They look really adorable together. So you could get these on my Patreon secret shop. That's available for all the book club patrons. We have some secret shop orders to pack. We have the Patreon happy mail to pack. So we will do that. And I have a couple other things to show you. I'm like really tempted to round the corners on these, but that would take so long, so. Pointy corners it is. Let's go through and put these on the back of cards. My basket here. Um, my friend crocheted this for me and I think I'm just gonna use it to stick the pin in. So this bee will be harmed in the making of this video. show you as I said I'm working on my illustration portfolio and I got recommended these two textbooks and I kind of missed school a little bit and I thought it would be a good idea to study off them throughout the year and use them as references and just kind of get more of a baseline knowledge and understanding of illustration as an industry and art to practice. Oh, I got this book by Martin Salisbury. It's called Drawing for Illustration. It says, this book will inspire and inform anyone seeking to develop a personal visual language. And I am seeking to develop my personal visual language, so. I picked that up. One is an even bigger one, and this is The History of Illustration uh, by Susan Doyle, Jalen Grove, and Whitney Sherman. And this is quite 
literally like a textbook. It's like one of your classic art history textbooks. And I really loved studying art history in school. I didn't love taking the tests, but I did love reading about all like the different artworks and artists and the history behind the time periods. So I'm really curious to just like dive into this. I estimate that this will probably take me more than a year to get through if I do even get through it all, but I think it will be like a great source of information. I will say it was quite pricey, but I really value education and learning. So I decided to invest in that and invest in myself a little bit. So, and what the heck, this is the cutest textbook cover I've ever seen. Also buying more illustrated books from my favorite artists. And this is Mushroom Rain by Laura Zimmerman, illustrated by Jamie Green. And Jamie Green just makes wonderful art so i really wanted to pick this up jamie green also has a really great youtube channel and it was really cool seeing the process behind illustrating this book so i grabbed those and then another boring thing i recently have gotten are seat holders because it is tax season a little bit more on that later i've been working on my taxes so i will discuss that a little bit later in the video but I got these to keep all my receipts because this is my first year fully freelance and self-employed. So I gotta get organized and I wish I did this last year too, but better late than never. So we're also gonna do some tax stuff in this video. We're gonna make it fun, okay? We're gonna make it fun. It's some rainbow receipt holder. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. I lied. We're talking about this now because while I was doing my bookkeeping and taxes, I totally forgot to film, but here's photo evidence of me doing it if you don't believe me. Okay, if you're unsure where to start with small business accounting and bookkeeping for tax season, don't skip this part just because it is sponsored by Skillshare. It really helped me, honestly, and I want to relay this information to you. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative and curious people, and usually I would go there for classes on illustration or graphic design, but this time, feeling a little bit scared about the upcoming tax season and my bookkeeping system didn't even exist, so I was like, okay, maybe Skillshare has some classes on accounting that I could look up to get like some knowledge, and I was right, they did. Obviously I am not a tax professional and these classes should not replace a tax professional. I think it's a great place to start and educate yourself. And then you'll be able to better communicate with your tax professional or get a better understanding on proper business practices. I sat down and did these six classes all in one day. It's feeling really ambitious, but all these classes are broken up into bite-sized pieces. So you could go at your own pace, do them in like one week or do them all in one day, like me, whatever you want. These two classes, Bookkeeping for Freelancers by Emily Simcox and Accounting Fundamentals by Matt Cooper were really great. Matt Cooper is the CEO of Skillshare, by the way, which is pretty cool. They were really informative. I appreciate how cut and dry and to the point they were. And they just like both explain the topics very clearly easy to understand, like the most I've ever understood anything related to numbers and accounting and finance. They also provide you with downloadable example spreadsheets and a lot of really great extra resources and related classes. It's tax season right now, so definitely take advantage of all the knowledge you can get with the link in my description. The first thousand of my subscribers can get a free one month trial of Skillshare. Like I said, I went through all these classes in a day, so you could totally learn all this stuff plus more during that one month free trial. The sponsored part is over, but I really want to talk about what I did after I took these classes. I was looking through those example spreadsheets and I was like, okay, I could definitely use these as a baseline and then tailor a spreadsheet to my own needs. I'm not very savvy at Excel. Like I can make a pivot table and like do some formulas, but nothing crazy. So I actually looked on Etsy to see if anyone had small business bookkeeping templates that I could use. And I found this really awesome store called Manja Sheets. I will link them down below. I bought their bookkeeping for small business and their budget template uh, spreadsheets for Excel. So awesome. I went through all my 2022 expenses and finances and now I feel really set for 2023. Spreadsheets were like the best $30 I have ever spent and I feel like keeping up with the spreadsheet is helping me just like be more aware of everything that is going on because I have to keep up with it monthly and weekly. I'm gonna keep up with those habits this year, hopefully 
I can stick with it and it is a good system for me. So I will update you guys on how it all goes in the future. It's been good. So I wanted to share it with you all and maybe it will help one of you. I know spreadsheets aren't for everyone. A lot of people I think opt to use QuickBooks as an accounting platform. I had to do a little bit more research on that, but so far I really like the spreadsheet system. That is it on this segment. Also gone through all my receipts and put them in that rainbow holder, so we're all good there. Unless you keep enjoying the vlog. my designs on my iPad last night so I'm gonna send them to my computer and then finish it up do some final touches clean the lines up and by the way this is what the glass shape will look like I was kind of inspired by this cup because I really like the shape of this I always put my coffee in it and it's just a really cute cup and then afterwards I'm gonna start packing the secret shop and patreon orders so we have around like a hundred packages to pack so gonna be a good day are done and now I'm going to pack up with these secret shop orders. I'm heading to my grandma's house with my parents because I have a doctor's appointment near there. So I'm going to stay there tonight. And tomorrow I'm going to work on my commission, which will be another separate vlog because I want to show you guys like the commission process more in depth. And that project is really interesting. So I will catch you in the next couple days whenever, whenever something's happening. Ooh. All right, bye. <laughs> I've been running errands all morning and I had my last, well, what I thought was my last doctor's appointment this morning. So I had to come back here Friday for another appointment. Um, but I'm going back to Philly right now. I was running some errands and while I was at the pharmacy, I bought these tulips because it's Valentine's Day today. And I was like, these are so beautiful. Like you are coming home with me. researching and working on the commission which is about horseshoe crabs so I'm really excited to show you that but that will be in the next video so I won't touch on it now update on the glass cups um, unfortunately they won't make it in time for South by Southwest renegade craft in Austin which I'm a little bummed about but that's okay I wanted to do the multicolor design they told me that it would be best to do a pre-production sample 
and that will take around two to three weeks. They'll send that to me, I'll approve that, and then the final run of glasses will go out. So I think now with this method, I might do a pre-order for the glasses. So you guys will see that in the next few months, probably. I've been working, brainstorming, drawing all day. I worked on the commission this morning, finished that, emailed off the draft, and I totally forgot to vlog because I have just been drawing and thinking of ideas. I need to order the new t-shirts and tote bags this week. It has been so long, I don't remember what I have told you guys. I found a local business here in Philly who are awesome. They do eco-friendly t-shirt print. So I went and checked out a couple of the t-shirts they offer just to feel them because when it's something you wear, I think it's really important that the texture and feel of the clothing is nice because I've never felt these shirts before. I think a lot of people use like Gildan or Hanes, um, but these are a completely new t-shirt to me. So I went and checked out all the ones they offered. I picked this one that I really, really liked. Yeah, they said I could send over the designs and then I can just come in and pick them up, which is awesome. I don't have to pay for shipping. They are really cool people. So I really appreciated it that they let me visit and yeah, it was really cool. It is a little bit more expensive, but I think the quality and sustainable benefits are really worth it for me and I hope you guys like them too. So I'm really excited. And that was basically my long way of telling you that I've been working on a t-shirt design. And I also found another tote bag manufacturer based in New York. Yeah, so I've been working on a t-shirt design and two tote bag designs. I just have like sketches in here and then I gotta take it onto my iPad and do the same process I did with the cups. So bringing them into Procreate, figuring out how many colors of ink I wanna do, where the positive and negative spaces are, and then taking that into Adobe Illustrator and vectorizing it, which takes forever. I'm really hoping to have them in the next three weeks, so I need to order them literally in two days because I really wanna bring them to Renegade Craft, which I'm really excited about. I forgot if I mentioned this too. I'm vending with Renegade Craft again at South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas. And I am so excited, but a little bit stressed out because I this is like a really far event that involves a flight. And I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna bring everything, how I'm gonna package everything. So yeah. That will be in a whole separate vlog, but we have a lot of things going on. I like feel like I am just, like every clip I'm filming is just like another bomb I'm dropping on you guys. <laughs> like, I don't even know, I can't. Um, and I have to work on my illustration portfolio too. Like I am, um, anyway, yeah. Gonna work on those. anything for like three months and I think I'm gonna get back into it um, mostly because it just kind of has felt like I think just setting up a camera and then doing something and then resetting up the camera is kind of a hard process to do when you are 
in the midst of a lot of work and like you just I don't know I just have been forgetting to film and I just haven't been motivated to do it um, but now I'm gonna get back into it so I'm gonna do a day in my life today sometimes I feel so like I'm like, oh, I have to get the lighting right, it has to look pretty. And I'm like, is this really a day in my life? Or is it just for show? I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I made breakfast. Um, breakfast. And I wanna check my emails right now, but obviously I have to film before I do that so you guys know that I did that. Bizarre. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm really good. Okay, <laughs> I'm exposing myself. But yeah, there's only gonna be like three seconds of this clip in the whole day in my life video. So I'm just going to film for like three seconds, the gist of what I'm doing, and then I'm actually gonna do the thing that I'm doing. Because like, I'm not gonna film like 30 minutes of me checking my email on my phone. I don't have enough storage for that. <laughs> So that's kind of how it works. That's like behind the scenes. Okay, done. Now I am actually going to eat my breakfast and check my emails without the camera. strawberry bunny tote bag design so far i think it's coming out so cute and it's gonna match so well with the glass cup but i just got an email and the mock-ups for the shirts came and originally here this is what they look like i really wanted to do this green and a pink color but it looked like it was sold out on the website and then i asked the manufacturer they are, they are so nice, by the way. I asked them if I should wait until the green shirt color is back in stock because I think the green and pink look so cute. And they were like, we actually have them in stock. And I was like, I'm so glad I asked. They'll be ready in about a week. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna hit buy on them. Um, and it's a little bit scary because I am not doing pre-orders or anything. And this is like, a really big payment up front so I'm really hoping you guys like the design <laughs> getting two different colors of it so there's gonna be like a lot of shirts I'm ordering 300 shirts so yeah and I plan to use these at in-person events too so it's like not just online shop so I want to have like a good inventory of items lasting me through the year but yeah it's a little bit scary making that investment up front it is a lot of money so yeah i'm gonna finish this and the other design hopefully today and then i have to drive to my grandma's house with my brother because i have my doctor's appointment tomorrow that's like an hour and a half away so yeah yep 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 i mean i totally forgot i was doing a day in my life TikTok thing too like oh i gotta catch up on that too Whew, frazzle doctor's appointment. I'll probably just finish that illustrator file for the bunny strawberry tote bag and hopefully send it out tomorrow and maybe get started on the second tote bag design. Um, so I'm just gonna bring my laptop, my iPad. I think that's all I really need. 
some clothes and I'm all set. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Walking to the ceramic studio and getting coffee. Um, I haven't been to the ceramic studio in like two months. So I know I have a lot of pieces out of the kiln and it's gonna be exciting. I don't remember what I made. So we're gonna see. just came back from the ceramic studio um, I had my appointment yesterday and unfortunately uh, I thought it would be my last appointment and I have to get another procedure done so I have to go back on Tuesday um, so hopefully that is the last one and then I will be all clear picked up some things from the kiln I haven't been to the ceramic studio in so long and I've been waiting to get all these things and bring them home these are these little paint palettes that I made with like leftover clay. I had a bunch of this hand building clay that's really gritty and nice to like use your hands with. I would never use this clay on the wheel because it's super gritty. It would like hurt my hands. So I made these and I'm gonna test them out. The only thing is because this clay was so gritty, the texture kind of comes through so it's not super smooth. So if I were to make these again, I would use a different type of clay but with that hand building clay I also made these little pinch pot mugs and these are super cute they're like just wonky enough um, I really like the star one with the cats I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I might give give these to friends these are a couple of things that I threw on the wheel the first one is this little bowl with mountains cute cute um, and then this one I really like. It's this tulip little mug pot thing. I guess this looks kind of like a plant pot. So yeah, I'm really proud of this one and how it came out. This one went through the electric kiln and this one went through the gas kiln. And you could see that they are just a little bit different in color. Um, so yeah, there's just like so many different techniques and things you could do to do make slight changes in the clay, which I've been experimenting with. I feel like each time I have a round of ceramics, I learn something more and then each time it gets better and better. Um, but this one I'm really proud of, this fish vase. I just really like the design on the outside. And it looks like this. Um, so yeah, those are my pieces. Um, yeah, so it is Saturday right now and I have a couple updates for you guys on the glass cups that I was designing before. The glass cup manufacturer, I had approved the proof. It was all ready to go where we were gonna do like a sample production run to make sure the two color screen print would look good on the cups. And then they emailed me yesterday, uh, pretty late at night and they were like, um, we can't do the two color screen prints. We're gonna have to do a full color decal instead, which is a lot more expensive. I was like, I don't know about this. I originally did the two color screen print because the full color decal was so much more expensive. Um, and now I'm just like, trying to think if I should do the full color decal. If I did that, I would have to redo the design because if I'm doing the full color, I am might as well go in and do like a lot more colors than two and make it like really cute. So I might have to redo the artwork for those. I sent in my t-shirt designs. I sent in my tote bag designs and they are all coming by the first week of March. So those are good. Um, it's just these glass cups that have given me a problem. Because of that, I was kind of inspired to do a whole Patreon video on my journey with manufacturing and how I started with making things on my own at home to manufacturing. So I'm gonna 
film that today to post on Patreon. And yeah, we're gonna do a deep dive on there if you are interested. I'm gonna get on with my day. I think I'm going to stop this vlog right here. Thank you guys for keeping me company this whole week and look forward to everything I made this week coming to life. I'm so excited to show you and share the final product with you. If you are interested in those Skillshare classes I mentioned, I will link them down below. I will link my Patreon down below if you're interested as well. If you're looking to support for free and you enjoyed this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff, self-plug right there, and I will see you guys in the next video.